The quickest way to disempower large numbers of people is to convince them that they're unworthy of love or justice. I both do research in theorizing and creating queer crip porn, and I do work on care collectives. And I see both of these as different strategies of resistance to transform and challenge what I call cultures of undesirability. When I started making porn with my first film, Want, I hadn't seen anything like it before. I got lots of people who were like, wow, before I saw this video, I never imagined that uh, I could be loved, that I could be desirable, that I could be somebody's like chosen sexual partner. I put the Care Collective piece in my video because being seen as a quote unquote dependent body is one way that disabled people are heavily stigmatized and marginalized and desexualized. The way I think of collective care is all of the different ways that marginalized communities come together to take care of each other when the state is either neglectful or violent or coercive controlling. Part of what I did as a postdoc at Ryerson was I created a website, cultivatingcollectivecare.com. It's a community building resource so that people who are wondering, how do I start a care collective, can come to this website and ask questions. At Ryerson, Eliza Chandler and Esther Ignani were doing death cafes, and I knew that I wanted to be a part of that work. We started having death care cafes where uh, communities could come together to have conversations about care and death just to be able to listen to folks and hear how they were thinking about these things. And then part of what drew me to Ryerson Disability Studies was that I knew it was a department that was committed to lived experiences, social justice work, and to make sure that the scholarship that we're doing is actually meaningful in people's lives.